All right, guys. Uh, welcome back. So the uh, we're gonna continue our discussion regarding the the this uh, Python tutorial. We have already seen in this notebook uh, how we can import uh, the the libraries and libraries. The concept of the libraries. They instead of building everything by yourself uh, with Python, a lot of information is already pre-built. You don't need to build those things from your scratch. And those things has been built in the form of libraries, right? So if you want to use that library you just you know you need to to uh to uh, import that library and then you can uh, use its functionality right so we have uh, a very enriched libraries because python is now i think one of the mostly used uh, uh programming language all across the world and very very powerful and very very uh rich in term of the capabilities right so we have so many libraries which are available uh the the uh i would say the the uh, the uh, the uh dev based libraries who actually uh, are custodian of, of python as well as the the third party libraries the the people who build or who enhance the functionality and provide uh, this library as part of the the additional capabilities right so what we're gonna see in this video we're gonna just uh, take an intro to to uh, how we can work with the libraries if you want to see the function how you can do it if you want to get the help of any function how you can see because that something that we normally work uh we need a uh, time and time again while we are working uh, with our uh, solution all right so the very first thing so uh beside import and what i'm going to do i'm just going to bring the math library as well and let me just take it out because now i don't need it and by the way what i'm going to say you know if you want to see the 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 all the functions of of a library what you can do, you just need to type the dir dir command, and that's where it's very similar to to the uh, to the uh, the listing base or whoever built that command. I think he likes the DOS com uh, DOS uh, 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 environment because in DOS you generally get all the directories if you if you uh, run this command. So if you run dir based on any library, it's gonna provide you all the the internal objects or or the the classes or sorry classes and and subclasses of of that uh, uh library so let me just run it for dir format so you can see i have plenty of information uh where we have some function which has some underscore uh doc which is more like the default functions and we generally want to use them to get the help because they are by the uh as it uh, the name show they pro uh, provide a general concept all right so how i'm gonna how i'm gonna uh, get an help on on a particular uh function uh, or the class in my uh, uh in my uh, library or package so let me just take out this cell as well so now this time what i'm going to do so in if we use help and if we know the the class or the method we can just you know so now another good thing you can see as soon as i put the uh, dot uh with the colab notebook it bring all the intelligence and it bring all the functions uh through intelligence right so let's let's take let me see if i can go yeah i can go all the way down but let's let's uh, move on and how about if we just you know take the the information help on the power function you can see uh, power return x uh, power y x the the power of y. So what I'm gonna do? How about if I just try to use the this syntax and run it, right? So you can see because I can see it is returning me the two power uh, 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 three. Uh, double star give us the the uh, the. Uh, 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 the uh, indicator that uh, it's not multiplying it it's actually calculating the power of x by y right so or if you want to use a function because we have already imported the library so you're going to see both going to give you the same uh, output right so that that's how we generally interact with the help to understand and how about if i you know uh, if i just put by let's see what's gonna do Oops, it's not getting pi, it's not defined. I think it's not picking it up. All right, how about if I just say yeah, math.py? Yeah, so you can see it's a pi function. Let's see whether it's going to pick it up. So now we know that, okay, once we provide uh, pi, uh, it's just 
for trying to search in the common uh, current notebook and try to find that reference. If it doesn't find it, obviously it's gonna uh, give us the error because it is treating it as a variable. It don't, it, it's not efficient enough to understand that we are talking about the pi that has been defined in the math library. With that one, we need to obviously uh, use with the uh, with the uh, with the uh, uh, library name. All right. So somewhere, if you don't want to use math again and again, you can define an alias for that. You can call it, and we normally use it like you know as m, right? Uh, so what I'm gonna do? Let's just do that, and I'm going to you know change the reference to to m. So you can see it's giving me exactly the same, but this time I don't need to type math all the time. Because what I can do now, yeah, let's use M and I'm getting the, the, the same information. So that, that's how you generally interact with, with, the, uh, with the libraries. We have plenty of libraries. So we're going to use them over and over again. Right now, you just need to understand if you're stuck with some uh, somewhere and you want to get the help, you don't need to go on Google and search it. You can simply you know, uh, type the help command and it will show you all the, all the information, right? Uh, I believe uh, it, it's going to give you a good understanding of, of the libraries, but feel free to reach out. If you have any question, try to practice using the Google uh, Colab. It's a free environment and it's gonna really co cover all, all your uh, uh, all your uh, development requirement. Uh, thanks for watching and I'm gonna see you in the next one.